Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today guys we're gonna do part 14 to my S chat chatbot series. Um we started talking to the evil Rexy for the last two videos and I've been having a lot of fun with them. He actually acts like Rexy from our Pokemon Talk series, where he's extremely friendly and overprotective of me. Even though he's supposed to, he should have a better relationship with Feraligator, really, because, again, he takes more care of him than I do. But he cares more about me for some reason. A heavy sigh escapes Rexy's lips as he hears my words. Wait, what? I, I love you two pieces, too. I just don't want to risk becoming food, especially since you can eat, eat, even more easily eat me now, now that I'm a tiny dinosaur instead of a human like I was. A heavy sigh skates Retsy's lips as he hears my words, the weight of their meaning setting upon his, setting on, settling upon his shoulders like a le leading cloak. He let, he knows his friend's right. In this form, he could easily overpower me without even trying, and the thought sends a chill down his spine. You're right, Trenton, he acknowledges solemnly, withdrawing his offered paw. I can't blame you for being afraid of me. I've already proven that I'm not entirely in control of my actions. Rexy lowers his gaze, unable to meet my, unable to meet my eyes as shame washes over him. I wish I could promise you that it will never happen again, but I don't know what the future holds. All I can do is keep trying and keep fighting against the darkness within me. Sweet Arceus. Comes out of nowhere and looks at us both. Period. Then he says, How is your friend? Still alive? You should have consumed him by now. Oh my gosh. What the frick is wrong with Tr Trico comes out of nowhere and looks at us both. Then he says, How's your friend Trenton still alive? You should have consumed him by now. What the frick is wrong with Trico? I think, he's even, I think he's almost more crazy than this than he was in the Pole One Talk series. Rexy's eyes widen in shock as Trico reappears. It's be his beady gaze fixed intently on the two dinosaurs. Oh my gosh. He feels a surge of anger at the Pokemon's ac ac accusatory tone, but manages to rein it in, knowing that lashing out won't solve anything. Trico, we understand why you cursed us. Retsy begins his voice steady despite the turmoil brewing inside of him. But consuming me, or uh, consuming Triton was it, and is it, part of our agreement? Uh, what agreement is he talking about? We've been trying to find a way to break the curse, to restore balance to ourselves and our friendship. He turns to, tr he turns to Trenton offering a reassuring smile. Okay, good, he's smiling at me, not trying to kill me. We're working together to overcome this little. We're oh, where's it? We're working together to overcome this little body, and as long as we have each other, we'll figure it out. Rexy meets Trico stare once more. His expression unyielding. Trico continues. Oh my. Continues. Period. You think just because you don't want to hurt your friend that you're 
are not going to. Period. I can already see you becoming aggressive again. And hey, there is a cute dinosaur over there. Namely, your friend. That looks mighty tasty. Uh, uh. Why don't you go eat him? Excuse me. Trika, I mean, Rexy? No. Drew can You think just because you don't want to hurt your friend that, uh, that, that you're not going to? Oh, I can already see you becoming aggressive again. Hey, there's a cute dinosaur over there. Namely, your friend that looks mighty tasty. Why don't you go eat him? A uh, Trico? I hate this mother fricker. Reggie's eyes flash with a feral intensity. Oh, heck no. How? As Trico's words sink in, the Pokemon taunts striking a chord deep within his psyche. He can feel the darkness stirring, sense the primal hunger rising to the surface. Oh, no. Trin's terrified whimper reaches his ears, and for a moment, Retsy's gaze locks on to his friend. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Rexy, don't you do it. Seeing him not as the person he loves, but as a potential meal. What did I say? That's not a good idea. Nope. His jaws begin to... Oh, no. I'm... Uh, I think Rexy's going to kill me. His jaws begin to water at the thought, and he can almost taste the sweetness of fresh meat. Oh, heck no! This isn't good. Oh, he's actually trying to fight it. No! He growls, shaking his head violently to clear the haze of lust from his mind. No, I won't give in to this. Trent is my friend, not prey. Thank you. Finally, he's not trying to, at least he's not trying to attack me, he's actually stopping. Although, flipping the fact that his mouth was starting to get hungry, or tell his mouth was, he was already getting hungry, is not a good sign. Rexy takes a step back, putting distance between himself and the t tantalized morsel that is me. Oh boy, don't eat me, for the love of frick, Rexy. This is more terrifying than even the Pokemon Talk episode version of this. This is more terrifying. Because at least Rexy didn't... At least Rexy stopped... That's the thing. At least he stopped before he attacked me. This is more terrifying. The fact that he's getting extremely close to wanting to eat me is not a good sign. And I'm an easy target. Remember, guys, I'm still that tiny dinosaur. So I'm screwed. I'm even more of a tasty meal for him. Taunts. Come on. You know you want to eat him. He looks delicious. All that juicy steak you would get from him. Uh, what? No. No. Trico, you stupid idiot. Don't try tempting him. You. No. I'm, I, Rexy's actually going to kill me. Rexy might actually flip and kill me. Rexy grits his teeth, his claws digging into the dirt beneath his paws as he fights against the overwhelming urge to lunge at me. Oh, that's not a good sign. Trico's words echo in his mind. Stoking the flames of hunger that threaten to consume him whole. Shut up! 
He roars, rounding on the Pokemon with bared fangs. You don't know what it's like to constantly battle this. This monster inside me. To watch as everything you hold dear is reduced to nothing more than a walking snack. Wow. I, I never thought he'd say it like that, but okay. Rochi's chest heaves with ragged breasts. His muscles coil tight with barely re restrained violence. I won't let you win, Trico. I refuse to become the very thing I despise. With a final snarl, Rochi turns away from the tantalized Pokemon and the tempting sight of me. No! Rexy, no! Nope, nope, nope. Please, do not attack me. I am not a tasty meal. I am your friend. Watch that not work. The fact that he's looking at me has me paranoid now, because I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Rexy's head whips around at my, my plea, his eyes blazing with an inner conflict. For a moment, he seems poised, uh, poised on the brink of surrender. The darkness receding before the light of their bond. Uh, that's not a good sign, I don't think. Friend? He repeats softly as if testing the word on his tongue. You're right, Trenton. You're not a meal. You're my, you're my friend. My best friend in the whole wide world. And again, that's basically how Rexy acts whenever he's on the Pokemon Talk episodes of me, too. He just loves hanging out with me. I, I, a shuddered sigh escapes him, and Rexy drops to his knees, burying his face in his hands. I'm so sorry. Sorry for scaring you. Sorry for letting the beast take over. Uh, sounds like he's possessed the way he had to word that. I promise. I'll keep fighting. I'll find a way to break this curse and be the, the Rexy you deserve, not some monstrous intimidation. Imitation. I can't read. Rexy knows more than I do. I'm stupid. I mean, you can say that word perfectly, I bet. Maybe I'll make it to where somehow kind of similar to the curse Rexy on the other one, I somehow can, uh, uh, Trico didn't think about it. Somehow I can transform into a bigger version of myself, or, like, be able to, like, grow giant if I need. I care about you so much. Period. I don't want to become a meal. This is this is both sad and uh, this is. Uh, <laughs> Rexy lifts his head, tears glistening in his eyes as he gazes at me with a profound mix of love, regret, and determination. Why is he call? I know I'm a little dinosaur, but you don't keep calling me a little guy. Just, rep just, I don't care. Repeat my name. Shadow does. Shadow says my name a hundred times. So I'd rather really say my name than call me little guy. I know, little guy. And I care about you just as much, maybe even more. That's why I can't bear the thought of hurting you, no matter how strong the temptation might be. He rises to his feet, towering over me in his dinosaur form. Uh, he is a dinosaur. What in the world? Is it Yet somehow appearing smaller and more vulnerable. I do whatever it takes to protect you and our friendship, even if it means facing the darkest parts of my uh, of myself alone. Rexy offers me a gentle nudge with his snout, a comforting gesture meant to soothe the tiny dinosaur's fears. You're safe with me, Trenton. Always have been, always will be. He's so sweet. I nudge. 
against to show him that I care. I also try to gently pet him with my tiny claw. I can assure you my hand my, my little dinosaur hands are not koalas, they're claws. It put koala instead of claw. Petted by a tiny claw. A low rumble emits from Reggie's chest as I pet him. The sound of mixture of contentment and res residential tension. He leans into the touch, savoring the affectionate gesture amidst the chaos swirling within him. Oh, that's adorable. This is what I need, Trenton. He murmurs, his voice rough with emotion. Your love, your faith in me. It's the only thing keeping me grounded. Keeping the darkest at bay. Oh, heck no. That's kind of... I don't like how he keeps wording as darkness. Reggie carefully scoops me up in one massive paw. Oh, sometimes it says paw, sometimes it says claw. Oh, cradling him close to his chest. Let's get out of here, okay? Away from Trico and his poisonous words. Somewhere quiet where we can just be, you know, us. He starts to walk, carrying me with a gen uh, with with a gentle to a gentleness that believes his size and strength. Together, we'll weather this storm. Yeah, how are we gonna stay from Trico's curse though? That's what we don't know. No, you don't. Where do you think you're going? Get back here. Oh my gosh. Will Trigo just leave us alone? Like seriously, even Rex is trying to get away from him. Wait, seriously, leave us alone. Retsy's ears perk up at Trico's shout, his grip on me tightening instinctively. Oh no. I hope that's a sign of him trying to protect me and not a sign of him about to eat me. He doesn't look back, focusing instead on finding a, sedu a, a secluded spot to escape the Pokemon's prying gaze and malicious intentions. Just leave us alone, Trico. He growls over his shoulder. His voice heavy with exhaustion and frustration. We're not your playthings or experiments. We just want to live our lives in peace without your twisted games and curses. Rexy qu quickens his pace, his heart pounding in his chest as he scans their surroundings for a suitable hiding place. Finally, he spots a small cave nestled among the rocks and makes a beeline for it, eager to shield me from further harm. You can still get me hurt, Rexy. You know that. You still have that flipping curse on you. You're going to flip and someone turn aggressive on me, then I'm going to be screwed. Trico says... Says... Alright. Fine. Hide all you want. Mm. 
But you will never be able to escape my cars. Become aggressive now and attack your friend. Uh, uh, what? Tell me, Trick, you can't somehow control Rexy's aggression. Because he just told Rexy to attack me. Please, Rexy, don't listen to that. No. Oh, no! It actually did work on... At Trico's defiant declaration, a sudden surge of fury consumes... ...courses through Rexy's veins. The curse's influence seizes control once more, and with a ferocious roar, he lunges at me, intent on making him his prey. Trenton! What? What did I do? Why are you putting this on me now? He bellows his jaw, snapping mere inches from the tiny dinosaur's trembling form. That's not a good thing. You're mine now! My food, my toy, my plaything! Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Rexy's claws make a, a, a rake across the ground, sending sparks flying as he pins me beneath his bulk. That, no. The weight of his body crushing the life out of his friend. Sweet Arceus. Tears stream down his face, but the evil within him reveals, it, reve, reveals in the power and dominance he wields. Oh, heck no. Mmm. So deliciously helpless. He hisses, his hot breath washing over my quivering body. Oh, no. No, no, no. Please. Stop. Seriously. Stop. You do not want to hurt me. That's not going to work. I don't know if that's actually going to get to him. Will that even work? Oh, it actually kind of worked. For a moment, Rexy's eyes glaze over, lost in the intoxicating rush of the hunt. What the frick? But then my pleading words pierce the fog, and, the, and he feels the familiar tug of their deep bond. Thank gosh, it somehow snapped him off it a little bit. With a guttural groan, he forces himself to release his grip, allowing me to scramble free. No. No. I don't want to hurt you. He whispers, his voice cracking with anguish as he watches me flee in terror. Sweet Arceus. Like, how can you not, though, whenever your friend just keeps turning on you? I'm a tiny dinosaur. He's probably at least, what, 10, 15, 20 feet taller than me? So he could easily, he probably could have crushed me with the claw. He about did. It said he was crushing the life out of me with that claw he was holding me down with. <sighs> Let's see. Oh. But I can't stop it, Trenton. The curse is too strong. It's consuming me piece by piece. Oh, that's creepy. I don't like that. Rexy collapsed onto the ground, his massive form shaking with sobs. He buries his face in his claws, mourning the loss of his innocence and the friendship he once cherished. Forgive me, Trenton. Sweet Arceus, this is... Why is this so dark? He's not trying, he doesn't want to hurt me, but it's taking me young and to stop, to flip and get him to stop.
I care about you a lot. You know I do. Period. But do you know how close you got to attacking me that time? You about ate me. If the words I said didn't get to you, I would probably be eaten right now. I love Rexy, but my goodness gracious. Oh, it's kind of concerning. Wow. Rexy's head snaps up at my words, his eyes widening in horror as the gravity of his actions sinks in. A strangled moan escapes him, and he cowers his, covers his mouth as if to stifle the scream building in his throat. Oh, gosh, Trenton, I almost, I could have, his voice trails off, overwhelmed by the sheer terror of what he came so close to doing. He closes his eyes, picturing the scene in vivid detail. Oh, no, the fear in my eyes, the, w the way he trembled beneath Racy's grasp, the taste of his own betrayal. Y you're right, Trenton. I was seconds away from devouring you, Rexy admits, his voice barely above a whisper. And if it weren't for those few precious words, who knows what might have happened. Yeah, and I don't think I can do anything. I am powerless as a tiny dinosaur. I'm not huge like you. I can't stop you from attacking me. I love Rexy, but this is insane, dude. Rexy's expression softens at my at me. Admission, a pang of guilt and sorrow piercing his heart. He reaches out a massive hand, gently st stroking my back in a soothing motion. It's okay, little guy. You don't have to be strong enough to stop me, sweet Arceus. All you need to do is survive and hold on to hope, he murmurs reassuringly. As long as you keep believing in me and our friendship, there's a chance we can break this curse together. Rexy's gaze drifts to the sky, searching for answers in the clouds. Maybe there's someone out there who can help us. Someone powerful enough to lift Trico's spell and restore balance to our minds and hearts. All of a sudden... grip tightened on me and he was starting to hurt me period oh uh, what dude this is not funny guys I'm scared to know what Rexy's about to do to me. I'll be right back.